And we are live. Hello and welcome to the stream. Today I'll be doing some Babano Geek Grind and see how far I can get with this. Um, because I will be trying to get as many of my passes done today. <clears throat> Oh, maybe I should have. Done that first. But that's okay. I think the server is pretty empty right now, so... I should be fine. Let's crack on. It's gonna be pretty chill today. Um, no crazy stuff happening. Like, a bunch of anything else. I, 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 I don't know. It can be crazy. Like, uh, I guess, I guess it's crazy for me. As in hanging out with people. <laughs> that kind of crazy stuff. Not gonna happen today. Because I, I am... I'm a hermit crab right now. I genuinely don't want to unhermit crab. Wait a minute. There we go. Setup's a bit janky. But that's okay. We'll work with what we got. I'm still not sure what I'm gonna be doing. Probably just Rundle. Because I have way too many passes. I might do a bit of tech. It really depends on how how lucky I get in these rooms. stream. Oh, come on. My, my alarm clock ran. Which means now's the time to to go hand in steward stuff, which I don't do anymore. So it's kind of pointless having that alarm clock, but I still use it. It's a good alarm. Wait a minute, there's nothing there. Oof. I guess I'll hit back. Yeah. 
I can see that. Wait a minute. Uh, wrong way. I don't see how the problems can change. Fine letter. That's not too bad. Oh, hey Ben. Oops. Oh, uh, did you want to join? Yeah, I can... Go out. Oh, I can't message. <laughs> Wait, it's twenty twenty four, yeah. Hello, six. And welcome to the stream. <laughs> How you doing? Did Ben wanted to join. I, oh my gosh! I can't tech, I can't message him. Oh, Ram? Question mark. Oh, I don't need to link. Running friends. Uh. Ah, what was the point of me exiting? I guess one one less pass for me. I don't mind. Want to do more prom? Uh, I don't know. Um, good message. Nice VTuber. Oh, hey, HD Link. Hi. You're just hanging around. How are you? Uh, I'm doing good. I was gonna do like a few passes of Rundle and just chill as well. Hanging around all the same. Oh, uh, wait a minute. I missed something. Oh. What? 
Tahiti. Uh, maybe not. HD. I'm guessing six here, Mavi player two. to see you around. Oop, there's no key. Oh, I have to go back. And I forgot something else. Are you grinding to HD? Nothing much to offer here. It's just a bunch of uh, rundle runs and me talking. So stay as long as you like. Oh, vintage healer dress. Oh, I'm gonna pick that up. Been feeling, feeling asleep. Uh, getting tired. Well, if you can sleep, that'd be great. It's always good to have more sleep, I guess. Yeah. Sleeping can be hard for people these days. There's two rooms, three rooms, oh my gosh. Oh, he's still alive. Okay, he's dead. There we go. Anything good? Nope. 
I can't even get durability out of that. That's such a pain. Oof. <gasps> I've been to chat. That'd be useful. <laughs> Rupture. What a joke. Should be enough. Wait a minute, that's the wrong way. The music is really familiar. Uh, I know Stova Syndrome music, but I would have to check. Because I don't remember the, the name of it. Boy. 
Let's see, where's the name? It's D05. <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce it. <laughs> uh, boy. Sunday afternoon. Nichiyo no Gogo. Nichiyo no Gogo. There you go. There's a bit of lag. Copy this. There you go. Hmm, which one might I guess I have one light novel game I wanted to play. It'll probably be something I do move later on. Oh, that's going to be so freaking tedious. still have it in my steam library hmm what was it called It's a pretty indie game, so... Oh my gosh... I really hope it's popular enough it appear on the search engine.
let's try. Oh, it's really not here. Well, I have a backup plan. I made a Google document of it, which means it should be there. stories too. Okay, buddy. Oop. Oh boy, what, what is his name? There we go. Natsu no katana. <gasps> Natsu no katana. Beyond summer. I have it. There we go. That's the one. Uh, now I have to... Copy my URL again. There we go. It's twenty eight. Pronounced it wrong. Uh, Natsu no Kanata. Okay. <clears throat> That'd be a tedious game. Even Genshin is pretty tedious already. The storyline is way too long.
No repair. What? Shit. Ridiculous. Oh god. There we go. Uh, empty, empty. So we just hit back. Back. Vintage. Yay. Reactive? Hmm. Not a fan. Perfect. Mm, there's a rune there. Oh, this is this the dead end? Yeah. Wait, is it? Oh, it's backwards. Hey, buddy. Anything good? Ooh, MP. Mind if I do. Oops. Hmm. 
I just ride her back and forth. There's really no point. Oh boy. There's one right there. Maybe that is the concept of what performances are. Ooh, durability. So it will make sense. That's how things should work. <coughs> Yo, lived. Lived what? Nothing good. <clears throat> Oop, wrong way. Wrong way. I guess hospitality is one of the most important things. Oh no, I clicked the wrong button. Empty.
charging port. Thank you very much. Body. Is that a vintage? A vintage, yeah. What is barbarian? Hmm, one, two, three, four, five. Do some shadow. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe Shadow Wizard's fine. Empty. Surprising. I wonder if I can check. I'm sure it's my gems. I might just go out later. Oh, wrong. Wrong word. Maybe, maybe I'm gonna stop Genshin for a while. Playing new games is not my thing. I don't know why, but doing something new, it's so stressful for me. <laughs> it's like if I could, I'd do Rundle and 
A shadow wizard all day, every day, mappy wise. I don't need to play another game. Uh, it's just so much more stressful to play something different. My brain just cannot comprehend it. It's like, no. Don't do that. You feel that? <laughs> yeah. Do you like shooter games? Uh, not really. I tried Valorant, Overwatch, um, Apex Legends, and Aim Labs. I'm not. I'm not a shooter fan. I mean, Star Wars Battlefront 2 was pretty good. Oh uh, yeah, I've I've been seeing a lot of people talking about Helldivers, but I I don't think I'll ever play that. It's not my cup of tea. I'm not really competitive in the shooter aspect. Uh, ever since I found um, Mabinogi Archery, I don't think I'm interested in any kind of shooting outside Mabby. <laughs> but yeah, Helldivers 2 is in fact very fun. I respect the developers. They They've thought of every single little fancy niche uh, and added it into the game, so it's really, really... It's, it's a work of art. It's really nice to play it. But if I were to play it, probably not. <clears throat> In a while. Halo 2-3, yeah. With the with the quality of what they've put out, it's it's very easy to get into, very easy to enjoy. And you, there's so many little little tiny mechanics that the bugs have that just makes the gameplay feel satisfying. And I can see how much the devs put into the work. But for uh, as a May, I I don't think I'll ever be able to play it. It's not a game that I enjoy. Oh shit! Nothing good. But yeah, it's a nice it's a nice little detour because um. You don't see that many games that are so um, loved. So much thought put into their game. <laughs> uh, like that—that's that's a that's a that's a work of art. That's that's a real game. That's what games should be like. Not the triple A shit that people have been throwing out there. Halo 2 and 3. I've never played Halo, to be honest. I'm sure it was fun. Ooh, wait, what was that? Oh. It's just a blockade. Ooh. Oh, wait.
Yeah, it's so rare to find a game that you can just... I don't know, get off work or wake up to and be like, Hey, I'm kind of excited to just turn on my computer and have some fun. <laughs> Pretty excited for upcoming indie devs. Uh, it's not, it's not as taxing. It's not as taxing to make indie games these days. For sure. Still pretty challenging. But it's getting there. Slowly but surely. Social media platforms, on the other hand. <laughs> Why is it we have one thing that's getting better, and then we have more problems everywhere else? Uh, wait a minute. Is there any? Uh, there's a room. <clears throat> Hold on. Dog's almost dead. You poor, poor soul. <clears throat> oh. Is that all that I sold? Yeah. Wait a minute. This is expensive. Why is it so expensive? Voice crap. Ah. Okay.
Uh, okay. drop to get uh, here in this dungeon yeah, a broken magic essence apart from a broken magic essence there's there's really nothing from this dungeon at all spams it for the yeah exactly everyone spams this for the broken magic essence the broken magic essence is required for crafting a robe which is an end game item that every player needs or wants so it's practically the most valuable thing Regardless of which class you play, you, you'd want it. Didn't know you could- oh, yeah. Um, control clicking doors is a new feature, but I don't think your hotkey would be set up for it yet. You'd have to go into your hotkeys menu and set that up. It's called object targeting. It lets you click on- control click on objects. Well, I mean, you would have to select which hotkey you want to use. So it's not exactly a control click, but you get the point. And yeah, it is funny to think that every player needs... There are workarounds for it, but essentially... It'd be rare to try and do a workaround. Because with the introduction of Irisan Bells, not every player would need a destructive robe anymore. But um, that's assuming you don't use any other talent. And uh, if I had to guess, every player is going to either use a chain blade, a knuckles, a control bar, or anything equivalent. Which would mean you would still need a destructive robe. So it's kind of kind of compulsory. For endgame damage. Not to say that it matters that much, but yeah. It's a funny thought. Oh, 
harder. Yep, it is true, and they are in fact um, compensating for the lack of piercing by providing um, more piercing alternatives like enchants and accessories, which means it's an item. It uh, the robe is becoming a luxury item rather than a requirement, but. Mm. At the end of the day, because Mabinogi has the oh, the opportunity for you to use multiple classes simultaneously, it would imply that if you use any class that doesn't get the enough wait, that doesn't get enough piercing and would require a diva, then you would still need it, which, which is why it's so it's so funny. Not me, still trying to find object targeting. <laughs> it should be right up the list. Let me have a look. Yeah, object targeting is one, two, three, four, five, six, the sixth item on the hotkey section. <clears throat> screen <laughs> yeah it does get kind of hard to see everything when setting up hotkeys I scroll there endlessly sometimes ooh what I get daunting garbage <laughs> oh no oh <gasps> I could have used it oh no well whatever Burn passes. I think you can clear this six times in the amount you do one. Well, if you want, I can clear your passes. I'm in a rush. Honest, because I, I I think uh, yeah I did use up my passes. As assuming you don't have that many. Having an extra person or so is not going to change the drop weights at all. So it's effectively the same thing, only twice as efficient. So I wouldn't mind. How is the dog so fast? Well, the dog goes really fast because of this rank 1 wings of haste. It lets my dog run by twice its regular speed for 5 minutes. Very useful. 11 passes. Well, 11 passes doesn't seem that tedious. I'm on channel 1, I'm sure you can find me. BMEs lately. Oh no, not a single one. I think the best I've gotten from the pool was uh... Uh, what were they called? I think it's an ensemble. Well, I had a few. I, I had a few 1% pools. And a condensed chaotic rune. I didn't get a BME. Not today. Oh, your pace. Okay. That's the person. I mean, just pop that back. Oh yeah, he's scrub. Uh, ben wants to... Ben wants to do Chrome 80s and 100s. 
with your your gang. <laughs> no, it's not. It has to be the broken. to do it tonight. I have no idea what he's up to. But it was a food for thought. Because oh, I don't think I'll be attempting crumbs above 80% until they revamp. Which is in like two months. That way I can do my comms peacefully. No questions asked. my 10th run like the pain and suffering <laughs> I kind of want to make them suffer more over me suffering be nice okay, F's not. hold on let me change channels ooh I have to wait five seconds you don't like the pain in can elves not do those arcana from writing? Uh, no, we cannot. Arcana skills are not archery skills. So we cannot do that. Uh -huh. Cozy as fuck. <laughs> That's what I aim for. I typically stream during office hours in terms of US time zones, so I hope. I figure if it's cozy, it's good. I mean, wait, hold on. Is it office hours? Or is it late night? I was <laughs> waiting. Something like that. Thanks, glad you enjoy. Pretty late. Or pretty early.
I don't know. I, I like early times, to be honest. It's like, right before sunrise. <laughs> the middle of the night. Oh, it reminds me of that one anime. I don't, I don't, I don't know what that anime is called. The one that they stay up so late. Ooh. The coloring in that was amazing. Kill faster than you can dismount. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's what archery is for. It was so I could kill faster. Because I do a lot of these runs. And I was hoping to at least cut a bit of slack for my fingers. when it comes to competing with um, KR difficulty in RNG actually was weak oh, I don't remember well I guess yeah it was weak but I was built for crash shot from the very beginning so I've been experiencing this kind of killing speed uh, maybe like six years ago you play before your break <clears throat> if it was back when when full time DD. Who, me? <laughs> That's never gonna happen. Because uh, they're revamping physical damage, and if they do that, I'll never be a DD. <laughs> it's just. Uh, it's absolutely great on humans. The only downside is you can't shoot while on mount. So. There's a big problem with that. I personally don't think it's that great then. And with the new updates, it's pretty bad because you don't get the extra vision of Ledeca damage increase. And the increase is about 15% extra damage. Which is pretty high. Oh yeah? This is good in humans. So when it comes to the crash shot though, it can be just as decent, but... You know, that will be good. What will be good, Link? What are you talking about? <clears throat> that will be good. You mean the, uh... Melee revamps? I mean, physical damage revamp? As far as I know, physical damage revamp is just going to make um, physical damage extremely viable and um, takes, it takes away the requirement for people to be using magic all the time. All the time. Yeah. The new, ch the new changes is mainly just uh, we're taking away uh, heavy standard for a lot of the melee attacks, especially archery. Where there would be that little ping noise whenever you hit an, an enemy. So most of the lackeys won't have it anymore. How to chat. Was the anime talking about Insomniacs? Yeah, <laughs> I think so. Oh wait, hold on. Insomniacs. I'm pretty sure that's the other one. Yeah, that's Insomniax is not the one I was talking about. I was talking about the other one, but Insom Insomniax is pretty good. <laughs> It'd be just as viable as an answer. I love that one too. Oh shit! The storytelling in Insomniax after school is great. Cross hatched in a stout. Oh, it's, it's, it was so satisfying. I don't know. I don't know how to... <clears throat> how do I... How do I illustrate the enjoyment I've had? True literature. Ooh, wait. There's a room there. Oh, my favorite song. <laughs> I didn't even know. 
Uh, upbeat music. What was it? Uh, it was the one with the little... The little kid with a zombie. Wait, no. Not a zombie. What was uh, A vampire? Yeah. Look at a vampire. The sky was purple. I know it's purple. It's because I love I love the fact they use purple all the time. Painting skies with purple in it is it's satisfying. Oh, oh, I was picked. Okay. But yeah, as of now, um, physical damage is pretty viable when you have about 7 to 9 piercing in Chrome. But if you don't have that much piercing, then it feels very, very weak. Mainly because of uh, how much peeling you need and how much damage you need to output. So with the changes, I can see... I can see the practicality, um, it's basically tech do in but in Chrome, and as you know, if you do do tech do in um, Alchemic Sharpshooter in tech do in is a lot faster than in Dark Diviner, by like, an insane margin. <clears throat> so the changes to, um, whatever features they have in Chrome is going to be very significant. Now I'm expecting people to change, to convert from, well, most non-mages who are using Dark Diviner mainly because of its DPS output will probably switch back to a melee class uh, or a physical damage class in any given way. This would also improve um, the effectivity of, uh, what's it called? Any other Nightbringer sets? Probably giant full swing, control bars, fighter. A lot of things will be very, very viable in Chrome if they do see through these changes. Ellie Knight never gets any love when talking about speed. Yeah, EK is one of the hardest ones to recommend because the main reason is its lack of AoE. So it's limited to its three main skills and you can't really do any AoE damage outside of the three main skills because Windmill is pretty hard to use. So unless you're running a giant with two one-handed um, hammers, Nightbringer hammers, you won't be able to, with Earth 50 of course, you won't be able to cut down its Windmill AoE to a point where you can see good DPS output. Left is giant full swing. Yeah, giant full swing has became very useless mainly because um, it doesn't support any um, piercing elements, and so you would have to switch to a one-handed sword. And giant full swing with a one-handed, I mean two-handed sword, a two-handed sword. It's not very great. It's pretty hard to use. Yeah. But with the new Nightbringer changes, if you do end up getting a weapon with piercing on it, and in any way bringing up that piercing to at least 4, it would be pretty good. It's just, uh, in comparison to the other classes, it's still quite slow, the skill itself. Like, um, the time it takes for you to cast a giant, a wing guard, and then prop up a giant full swing would be more than enough time for a dark diviner to throw a fireball and kill everything and so it's very hard to use in terms of speed and so the main skills we use would be stampede combo with um, EK skills which makes a lot of the giant related skills pretty redundant now and the only benefit a giant get is the uh, 
the windmill, the windmill casting. So giants can cast windmill very fast. It does a lot of windmill damage. And you can shorten the windmill cooldown by a significant amount. And that's practically the only good AoE skill that giants have it as of now. Because smash in itself, it's not exactly that great of an AoE skill. <clears throat> I mean, it's good to build for Dynavolt, but apart from that, um, Dynavolt is an elemental knight skill, so when it comes to damage or trying to gauge how strong your class can be, um, I would take away all of the, um, what's it called? The Arcana skills and focus mainly on the normal skills. So in my ri in my case, um, my crash shot is the best way to see my damage output because it's an AOE and it has a big range and it's a regular skill. So the stronger my crash shot, the stronger my overall DPS. And for mages, it would be fireball as of now, fireball, thunder, and a bit of hailstorm. And for humans, I hear they will buff EK. Yeah. So they're planning on buffing EK, but as of now, this is um, this is the issue with EK in the sense that your only effective skill that is not Arcana related is Windmill, and the only class, I mean, the, the only race that can benefit from using Windmill, wait, that, that can um, exploit Windmill's high DPS is Giants with a two one-handed uh, Borealis hammers or Nightbringer hammers. So because of that, it's not a good option for humans to be an uh, EK, nor is it a good option for elves to be an EK, which means the, their option is to just revamp the skills one way or another to make it stronger somehow. I don't know how they're going to go about doing it, but it is on their to-do list. Definitely. Um, the good changes that they'll have for physical damage would be the, the lance update as well as the bash update. But the problem with those two is the fact that they still lack a lot of AoE damage. So as much as it is quality of life, it, we won't see much of it being used as opposed to Dark Diviner because um, it's not AoE. The, the main reason why um, it's so important to classify this like AoE requirement is because uh, unlike KR, NA suffers from Amazon Web Services and Amazon Web Services are very very slow in terms of like latency and such. And so our servers are so slow to the point that if you're not doing AoE damage, you can't really hit enemies one by one, you'd have to resort to killing enemies like in in sections at well, well uh, in groups, yeah. <laughs> and so because of that, um a lot of the new features that they're adding for the physical damage re wait for, for melee revamp, it's not going to be so useful here. Giants can't use archery. And they get a in negative buff. Only choice is to get as much. As much. Sorry, what? <clears throat> Peers? As much pen. I guess so. Oh no. Wait, what is that word? I can't see it. Oh, Pierce. <laughs> okay. As much Pierce as they can. Mmm. Hydration. That's pretty hard. I wouldn't say so. Um, as of now, with the current requirements, Giants, uh... Giants offer Dark Diviner, and Piercing is 
Piercing is a requirement for every class, which means you can't really say that you have to focus on it. It's more of something everyone has to focus on now. Yeah. Unless they start fixing that part of the game, which I don't think they will anytime soon. So that's pretty sad, but uh, it is what it is with Mevi. The main reason... I don't think they get an int negative. <clears throat> Yeah, I think they get a pretty in positive. Um, from your vision of Ledeca, uh... Wait, is it? Oh wait, my bad. Not, not vision of Ledeca, what's it called? Shine of Weka. Um, giants are able to get the most intelligence, as opposed to the other two classes, if I'm not mistaken. And so, you, it's pretty well balanced in terms of int. Assuming you're aiming towards getting your int maxed out, it's not that hard because int out of every other class is the easiest one to get maxed out anyway. And with the new changes like Glyphrite and Finny. Yeah, um, that would be very wrong. Giants are just as viable in Dark Diviner as any other race, which means they get they, they get no no downs. There's, there's no debuff to being a giant, basically. You get both the benefit of having very high melee damage, and also very high magic damage. And also, um, in terms of dexterity, wearing heavy armor reduces your dexterity by 10% as opposed to 50%, which means you can also use control bars and anything of the like. And if you do end up choosing to use control bars and chain blades, you can also use your Might of Ladeca, which increases your melee damage by 15%. This applies to um, control. If I'm not mistaken, it applies to control bars as well as chain blades, because chain blade is a melee, da melee damage class, which means there's no downsides to being a giant. Apart from the fact that you can't use archery, and so people. Obviously, in this case, would opt for. Oh no! <laughs> I got a condensed chaotic rune. Uh, people opt for um. Dark diviner as a giant, as of now. For that reason. There are seeming there. There are visibly no downsides because um, if you are. If you are not looking to be an archer in any way, being a giant would be the best option. For the next song. So much knowledge about it all. Why oh, thank you. But if you um if you choose to be a uh a, a player that doesn't ever use any archery skills then your best bet is to be a giant because you get the benefit of stampede a lot of new skills final hit is practically useless now and so plus you get extra movement speed and it's a lot easier to combo giant melee skills than it is to use human melee skills so if you're one of those that really enjoy melee skills then being a giant is perfect, basically. <clears throat> and that is why, um, in the long run, I do see a lot of people trying to opt for giants when they're using melee classes like EK, because it's pretty hard to use um, EK as a human in later gameplay. But of course, that is if you choose to uh, focus solely on melee and not use, uh, what's it called? Uh, archery. So most, um, most humans tend to use a combination of the two rather than using just melee alone. Last time I left this, a lot of ghosts would be like during a windmill. Mm, it kind of did. It uh, it did in fact happen, but nobody uses windmill anymore. 
So, true, it happened. But unfortunately, Adolado damage pales in comparison to the Arcana talents. Yeah. Which means you can in fact make an Adolado, and you can do um, pretty high damage with it. But it's not going to compare to the stuff you can do with the Arcana talent as of now. So... I wouldn't recommend it, but if you enjoy Adolados, that'd be kind of fun. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm not keeping track of how many times I've used that. <clears throat> You could ego. Oh, uh, blows up like crash. Uh, I have no idea how far they went with Adolados. I don't see many Adolados users, but I'm pretty sure it's not an AoE. If I'm not mistaken. Be pretty cool though. <laughs> It'd be a nice Adolado feature. But I doubt that's on their to do list as of now. They made it very clear that their to do list is uh, revamping melee skills. Because of you, Shanavueka. Is it activatable? Mm? What? What about Shanavueka? You should level up. Wait, is it not? Shanavueka is. You can activate it. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Palela Embrace. This is the one you can activate. Um, Shine of Uweka activates when you're above... Oh, Mytalidic. Uh, those skills are... Uh, those skills... You can only use those skills after you've reached level 100 and above. So I'm pretty sure you could have leveled up. Probably. Oops. Might of the Decca. Blame. <laughs> Garbage. Man. Good for you. 
with the pacing? Uh, uh, I wouldn't worry too much. Um, when it comes to check mark, you need to be in combat for a whole minute. So to be in combat for a whole minute, on in in dungeons, um, you can hit an enemy. It will put you into combat for 30 seconds. So you can hit an enemy, wait 30 seconds, and hit another enemy. You'll guarantee your check mark. Which means you don't really need to worry too much about not doing anything. Or doing nothing. Basically how it works. <clears throat> but typically if I want to slack off in dungeons, uh, I would just shoot one guy and wait for 30 seconds and shoot another person. I'll be done. Take the wins. I think it's coming. Oh, text. Oh, my bad. <laughs> We're talking about text. Ah, oh, yeah. It's a pretty high level. A high level dungeon. With EK, text can be very, very challenging. I wouldn't know. Because, uh. It's a lot easier now. I think the main issues for Tex is the defense and protection. Magic defense. Magic protection. If you're looking for one to solo, I would suggest, um. Out of the three, it would be Seven Nightmares. Seems pretty possible. Seven Nightmares so It's also one of the... Um, the easier ones to get a group for, because uh, people love that one the most. Requires a bit of timing. So the ghost spawns at 10 second intervals. The little ghost. And then the bastion, which is the kneeling girl, um, will be vulnerable when no little ghosts are present. So you can choose to kill a lot of the ghosts and then. For every 10 second interval, there will be a... Yeah, 7 Nightmares might be easier. There will be a spawn of more ghosts. So if you can get the timing right to kill them when they spawn, you get a very long time to kill the Bastion that's kneeling. Yeah, Piercing Weapon. You can get... Uh... Time Shift? Mm, I guess so. Finna. The Bastion part in so I my mean, Kraken used to be hard because you want to keep all the enemies group together to kill them all in one go. Uh, with the new changes though, it's a little bit different. 
because people typically don't do that anymore. You can just um, kill everything in one hit. I have a Divine Blade, Lupius. Well, it should have... You get two piercing from the EK thunder thingy. So, oh, never mind. So if you can make up four piercing, it would be very, very strong in a lot of the content. Wait, what is triple? Well, I have, I have, I, I think I have a few texts, so we can go through the texts if you want. <laughs> I can do all four and see how it goes. Uh, let's see. Good it's the goal right now. Solitude. Uh, solitude is three piercing. You'd have four piercing total, but it it does some um, this requires some RNG, so it's between one to three. Try text for sure. Okay, we can go do some after this. Uh, how many passes do you have? Left? Not so. Small guy. Small world. Christmas chaos, no idea. I don't remember back then much, apart from Shadow Wizard. To the other side. Oh, the blacks, the black, black, wait, blacklist thing. Uh, I don't think I was there. Override, <laughs> okay. So it's nostalgic though. Here, Ravi stories. Thank you. 
because I was not keeping track. I haven't done my text for today. <clears throat> I guess after this one, I was gonna use up the passes before we did text, but sure. We tried every tech. I mean, I guess that doesn't matter. We can try every tech. here for a while if we end up doing all of them. Okay, can I join? Back to EK. That works. Honestly, never be an archer. Yeah, I'll be honest, it's the same for me when it comes to magic. Uh, magic is obviously the best class at the moment in terms of overall quality, but be that as a may, I don't want to be a mage. So playing a class due to meta is kind of dumb. <laughs> Saying you don't like archery is honestly a very, very good thing. Or you don't want to be an archer. <clears throat> The game gets very boring. The game gets very, very boring and very tedious the more you play something you really just don't enjoy. And so the well, the goal for current Mabinogi updates is to push every class into a position where you can do any class you like. DD. Oh, pass me lead. Wow. Gonna go. <laughs> uh, it's so relatable. Okay. more often. Yeah. I'm I'm getting a ruin staff for a very similar purpose. I like hailstorm a lot. Mmm okay I could do cracking first. And I just threw my old staff away. I need a replacement now.
from the Nixon. Oh, okay, that's nice. <clears throat> Extra drops. Uh, personally, not really. When it comes to drops, it's just a free-for-all. I'm not a fan of the splitting idea. It's very capitalistic. I'm not a capitalist. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I see items in the game as a collective pool of, pool of items. So the more people run the content, the more the drops exist. So if you get anything nice, then you can go ahead and take it. Does Tex even... Oh, Tex does have expensive drops. Uh, so you have your rune materials. Ruination weapons uh, can range from 40 to 70 mil each item. <clears throat> It can be pretty expensive. And then you have your Perseus related materials, which can range from 2 to 10 million. they limit to weekly counts? Um, it's too... Um, it's to promote the idea of spending money on gacha. From what I can understand, that's the main, that's the main goal. It's to promote the idea of spending more on gacha, because if you can grind for everything in the game, then you'd have no incentive of buying items and doing, doing gold trades with other players. So typically Gacha is there for you to buy and then sell the items you get from Gacha to get gold and use the gold to buy the items you want. So it makes it creates a market. That makes any sense? Oh shit. Hold on. I need to relink. So you can see there's a timer here. There's your timer. So if you kill everything while the timer is at wait, while 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 the timer just started, you can basically skip the entire thing. Ooh. I mean you you'd have a lot of time to kill the bastion. Yeah. <clears throat> Blinding. 
<laughs> EK is so satisfying. I miss using EK skills. I, I was in EK back then. EK first came out. Oh, shoot. Next was revived. Ooh, wait. <coughs> Never soloing that. <laughs> Kraken? Kraken can be very, very, very long. works here. We have a little glitch feature for these rooms. I'm not sure if you're um, accustomed to it, but basically if you have a control bar you can cast some... Um, what's it called? Puppet Snare? And you walk in with the left mouse click uh, after hovering over where the the uh, the NPC is sitting there. And then while you are walking towards it, you cancel the skill. This will glitch your hitbox towards the NPC's location while keeping you outside of the room. As such, um, you'll be outside of the room, but your hitbox is inside, so you can clear this whole thing without getting in there. The only downside is, um, I'm assuming your defense protection, magic defense, and magic protection is pretty low. So you'll be taking a lot of damage. <clears throat> Especially from the salamander fire circles. taught this with a sprite yeah so there are many methods to do it one of them is using a pet that doesn't that mounts on you that would be a sprite you can have other types of pets some people use owls that would also work and the control bar is the easiest one because well everybody has control bar 
<coughs> but yeah, if you have a sprite, you can use that. There's one more. Oh, that was done. So we'll just be waiting. There is an invisible barrier that will appear that blocks the pathway when you talk to the captured fanatics at the center here. So if you are running with speed, make sure everybody is in the center. If not, they'll be stuck outside. <clears throat> Following this to lizards. Lizards can be very dangerous if you do damage without staying away from bombats. The main reason people die is because the bombats would explode after death. This is the only way um, you can die without the enemies hitting you um, because the lizards will put you into deadly but they will not kill you. So unless they attack you with magic or anything equivalent you won't actually get killed unless a bombat explodes on top of you and so most people end up dying from that most of the time even if they can clear the witches Yeah, so you will be put in deadly. You will not be killed. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Danger zone. This should be a danger zone as well.
Ada. Oh. Run. Wait a minute. I think I relinked. Should be fine. For Illusion of Valor, he works the same as the Grendel's. So you want to get a Salamander to pop a circle on top of him. If not, he'll be pretty strong. Seven nightmares, and then we can do fat lass. <laughs> I like doing fat lass. be three clerics here. That's the first one. We have the second. Then the third one's gonna spawn and we'll be done. Oh shit. Okay, we can hit the centerpiece now. Salamanders. Should be four salamanders. They'll drop lava lumps. <clears throat> can you solo? Uh, I think the only two things I can, or wait, three things I can is Dita. Glenn and Kron. Well, I can... I do Krom 30% alone, but higher ones are pretty hard for me. The two big reasons is my high latency. So I can't... Uh, you, it requires a lot of mechanics to basically dodge everything. And it's pretty hard to do with high latency. That's the same reason for why I can't do Dita as well. And for Glenn, it's because uh, it requires two people, at least. And so I can't solve that. <clears throat> That's the last one, you can use that. Oh, Link is keeping it. stuff. I mean, do more Chrome after the update. Seems pretty possible. Oops. 
Aku Stone. Uh, that city finish it. I think that's what I call it. Yeah, we call it. We just call it the Echo Stone Dungeon. I can do that just fine. Oh. It's a. Uh, it's pretty tedious though. It's one of the lower end dungeons. I would say it's something you can. You probably won't struggle much. Tech to win is a lot harder. Oops. We just see one more. Keyboard. <laughs> uh, that's cute. That's nice. As of now, Echo Stone Dungeon is challenging for the dragons. You still need magic for the dragons. The two little dragons at the center. I would say doing it on basic would be a lot better. Sethlin is also a boss that is very strong um, with high protection and defense. So being able to do damage is pretty hard. And so for mages, it's pretty easy to kill him. 
but not so much for anything with physical damage. I'm sure they're gonna fix that as well. There's so many things that they're gonna fix if they end up deciding on fixing the melee related stuff. <clears throat> get lost in here. Oh, I remember why I don't like Feth. The fog is insane. There's a little circle on the floor outside. Yeah. Sakura was never gonna do damage to. That was unlucky. It's best to stick together in in one of in in uh, in first. Okay. There's a little icon that appears on the floor. Tells tells you where to go. Well, sometimes it's underneath the floor. So you can't really see. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, you need contribution. Well, that should be the four attacks for today. Normally, I ended off with a crumb. <clears throat> I would just do one crumb. Yeah, that should help me leveling. Ooh. Oh, it's asking someone else. today. Each of you. Yeah. Okay. I think uh, th that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Hold on.